Welcome to the Socialist Ties, new to Socialist Think Tanks channel. In this series, we talk to people from community organising groups, campaigns, protests and all things grassroots. Uh, tonight, I've got with me the wonderful Stuart Sutherland. Hello, Stuart. Hiya, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent. Fabulous. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, so I just want to get straight into it. Stuart, you're part of um, an organising group yourself. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, as part of my work within my union, uh, which is Unite Community, uh, we do we do a lot of uh, you know work around our core goals of achieving uh, some equality, you know, better lives for people. And one of the things that we're doing at the moment is a you know there's a joint activism group going about. Uh, this was organised a few months ago uh, by a, a member, a youngish lad, and uh, it's it's quickly grown into uh, something that we hope can uh, begin to make a difference in a, in you know the physical world, the real world, the stuff we see on our doorsteps. So, what exactly is the aim of Unite Community? What kind of um, sort of community organising are you all doing? Uh, well, the core, the core principles of a United Community are, you know, seeking equality, justice, uh, you know, fairness, just as any union would be. But uh, it's kind of built around the principle that for all, not everyone's employed, everybody's a worker and everybody contributes and that they need, you know, the toolkits and the support to organise and uh, fight for justice uh, themselves and uh, that, that's what United you know, Community is about providing that toolkit and that support. Fabulous so um, so where do you organise then obviously with uh, the pandemic going on at the minute I imagine everything's online do you manage to reach out to lots of different communities or are you starting small? Uh, well obviously everything's on Zoom at the moment uh, I've never actually been to a traditional you know physical mate of United Community that's uh, how long this pandemic's been going on. But uh, what, what we did when we set this group up was to attempt to reach out to, to allies, to people that we trusted. And that was essentially reaching out to the local Labour parties within the Durham area. Uh, you know, initial emails, invites to people. Uh, that's quickly uh, started. So we're now getting organising groups like uh, ACORN, it was a, a housing union. Uh, we're getting, you know, very different uh, types of people coming along, all age ranges, uh, you know, disabilities, ethnic backgrounds. We're getting a, a really good, you know, reach quite quickly. And month on month, it's building really well. That sounds excellent. So is it going to be something, are you going to work sort of as a union, a general public, as it were, and people who aren't necessarily in work? Uh, I don't think as a union we're fighting for anybody who isn't a member. You know, uh, as a union, you really should uh, be promoting people to join up. You know, it's two, it's two quid 38, I think, a month to join United Community, which I advise everybody who, you know, is unemployed or retired do. Uh, we, we could really use your help. Uh, but... It's about building uh, those links with the communities that we want to take hold in, to have an effect in. And it's about putting the, the toolkits and the ideas in people's heads so that they kind of take the ownership of their own projects, take the ownership of their communities. So some of the issues we see where people are uh, wanting to rally around things like uh, getting a cash point in their, in their local village, you know, just... Uh, giving people a toolkit to be able to organize around that one issue and move forward with it is I think the, the goal, the purpose. And then we, we're building links and, you know, coordinating across the county to, to make real change on, a, you know, a bigger scale. We're starting at doorstep stuff and uh, we're hoping, you know, taking stuff to Downing Street and making sure that we see a, a social security system that we want, that we're seeing the, the rights that people need uh, but uh, doing it on the doorstep. So it sounds to me like um, your role then is is effectively to empower people to sort of take these fights to where they need to be. Would, would that be a, a correct assumption? 
yeah, that, I mean, that's just generally what my ethos has been as both a, a Labour Party member and a member of a Unite community. Uh, I am an officer of my branch, which is Teesside in Durham. Uh, essentially, I'm like a coordinating officer for the branch for the Durham area because we cover Darlington, Teesside and Durham. Uh, with the uh, joint activism group, you know, I'm not taking the lead on that as such. Uh, and, you know, the member whose initial idea it was, Andrew Hedges, who was a really quite inspirational guy, he takes the lead on that. Uh, it give, you know, it gives people opportunity to, to learn how to do certain things. You know, all, all I have to do is be the facilitator to, to create the opportunity, you know, and take the notes, get the email sent out. That's amazing. So you've, you've said there that you, you do a lot of work for your local Labour Party. Is that a sort of similar role that you're doing within the Labour Party? It's similar in a way, yeah. But uh, sometimes I feel it's opposite ends of the spectrum. I come, I'm coming from different angles. With uh, the Labour Party, my, my role is a membership one. So, you know, I'm contacting members. I'm trying to be, the, you know, the face that people can... You know, remember when they they get into uh, the early meetings. You know, when they're still quite nervous for people to show up. You know, get involved, uh, look after things on the member side, membership team stuff. But from Unite Community, I'm coming from a, like a political position, and then finding ways of putting that into people's hands. If you know what I mean, I'm trying to give something to members rather than just look after them. That's incredible. It's a, it sounds like a lot of work. Um, is, is Unite Community something that's just local or is it actually a, na a national organisation? National. It's, uh, you know, I'd, I'd call it a sister union to Unite. I mean, everybody's aware of Unite, I think. But uh, United Community kind of gets missed off. Uh, it's almost as if it's seen as a bit of a, a membership tier because it's uh, for people who are, are not in work generally and things like that. But uh, it's quite an effective group and it takes on a lot of the, the issues and challenges is that we, you know, we face politically uh, and in our day to day lives. So do you have any sort of political struggle within the Unite community happening in the minute that you can tell us about? Do you have any plans? Oh, well, there's always something going on because, you know, it's it's rough outside the world we're living in right now. So uh, at the moment, we're fighting for the, uh, the £20 uh, uplift for the universal credit, you know, trying to maintain that as long as possible. But, you know, really, we want it permanent because the, the levels at universal credit uh, are distributed at the moment are just not enough to to really have a decent you know life on yeah definitely I uh, couldn't agree with you more there Stuart. so what's that campaign look like what what form is that taking are you doing petitions or are you uh, trying to gather forces for that well I think it comes under the, the uh, universal discredit campaign that we're running and that's been going on now for months you know this has been a, a long battle and we've had everything from members being outside job centres with placards when it was safe to do so. Uh, there's been writing to MPs. Uh, we've been, you know, putting the toolkits of uh, getting in contact with people, contacting councillors where we can, uh, putting pressure where we know it might work. You know, uh, everything's on the internet right now, and there's a massive push to to create content. And we found that we have a really great resource in our members who, you know, perhaps didn't feel valued doing, you know, anything else at the moment. You know, they're stuck at home. There's not a lot going on. And there's just such incredible talent and they're getting really involved and we're coming up with brilliant campaigns. So if you could... Um give somebody a pitch to join Unite Community tonight, what would you say to them for all of our viewers watching? Oh, uh, let's say, other than the, the, the protections and the, 
the access to lawyers and you know the, the extra support you get i mean for me if you're in a position where you're not working you're most likely going to be in a position where you're being treated pretty unfairly uh, being part of unite community is a support network it's an educational system it's going to put the the tools that you need just for your day to day life hands but also let you find your voice politically it's going to empower you to to take on what it seems like a you know a giant monster of a system it's uh you know putting you in the ring with them and uh we're making real progress we're actually making change we're putting the pressure in the right places and if you want to be part of that uh we'd love to have you so you don't have to have been involved with politics or any such like before you get in touch with unite community then no no you don't need to be a labor party member you don't you don't even need to agree with a lot of the the uh, the politics coming out of uh, the labor party even at the moment all all you have to do is you know want to see proper change so people are, are well supported have you know dignified lives uh, you know see justice and equality in britain well, that's absolutely what we're all about here on Socialist Think Tank. We're always we're always shouting for that stuff. So it sounds absolutely incredible. So um, if if people did want to get involved, if people did want to join, how's the best way to do that, and and who should they contact? Uh, well, the easiest way is the website. Uh, you just go to join Unite, and uh, there you'll kind of be guided through a, a, a system deciding kind of what area you should be in, whether you're a full-time worker, part-time worker, student. And eventually, if you, you meet the criteria, I think that uh, it's pretty obvious who would, uh, you, you get put into the membership category and then your name will, you know, land on my desk if you're in the Durham Teesside area. Otherwise, you know, there's other ways to do it. If uh, you can't afford the subs, but you're very interested in being an activist, and getting involved uh, you can actually ask the branch to to, to take you on and cover your know, initial costs while you're struggling because we all know right now two and a bit quid doesn't sound like a lot but it could be you know a massive amount to some people you know so again contact your local branch uh, there'll be a, a rep who will be able to guide you through there's lots of ways to get involved and with the joint activism stuff that's going on if you can't be a member of the unite community it would be great if you could just be in contact with us come along to these meetings locally uh, so if you're in the durham area and you want to to be part of what we're doing uh, you could join the uh, unite community joint activism group uh, we have a monthly meeting we do a bit of email we're just trying to to build at the moment and that way you know, you don't really need to, to be a, a member initially if you're a member of the Labour Party. Brilliant. That's excellent. Well, we'll, put, we'll certainly put all the links uh, and, and all of the contact details that people need um, in the comments when this goes out. Um, and people can absolutely contact us if they if they want to join, if they want to get in touch with you, Stuart. I'm sure people will have a lot of questions for you. Um, on that, I'm, I'm really interested to find out, um, obviously, we... we we know you're from Political Unmuted, our show on a Tuesday night. Um, we know you're politically active. We know that your strength is community organising and speaking to people. Um, can I ask why you got involved in Unite Community yourself? What what drew you to it? Uh, uh, initially, it's because uh, I became a town councillor. And if you read the Labour Party rule book, if there's a union you can join, you're supposed to. So, you know, I followed the rules, but uh, then I found out what a, an incredible group it was. And, you know, my, my branch really put a lot of trust into me very quickly. And, uh, you know, it wasn't long before I was, I was chairing meetings and uh, I was getting sent off for training. Uh, like today I've been training on, uh, you know, welfare support and assistance and, you know, this isn't just, you know, a quick half hour stuff. This is a good weeks long 
worth of training to, to put the tools in my hands to be you know, well informed to, to take this on. That's fantastic. So is all that training, is that is that as part of your membership? You don't have to pay any extra for that? No extra. So honestly, the amount of training that you could take up is huge. Uh, everything from uh, getting to grips with Zoom and social media, all the way up to, uh, to stuff like the, the welfare training there, which is, you know, trying to get your head around all the types of uh, assistance there is in the, the welfare system and all the pitfalls and all the struggles. That's, that's a big topic. And there's everything in between. Obviously, uh, when, you, when you join as a member, you're probably not going to have the toolkit, you know, prepared to, to take on uh, a role, unless you're, you're one of those people who just dive in feet first. But the, the, the union's all about teaching you, educating you, giving you the opportunity to, to take on some responsibility and, uh, it's it's been really beneficial to me, I think. Well, it certainly sounds like somewhere that people can go to get empowered and to get a bit of confidence about them, which I think is sorely lacking, especially um, in the UK around people who, who maybe aren't working. To know that that sort of thing's out there, I, I feel like could only be a positive for people if it's going to offer all this sort of confidence building and networking. Um, would you would you say it, it's something that um, could lead to bigger things for people who maybe wanted to get involved in the trade union movement? Oh, ab- absolutely. Uh, you know, the skills carry over. You know, we know we know this. We get told it by you know the job centre ads. You know, everything's transferable. But uh, right now we, we have a population where lots of us feel marginalised because, you know, of disability, we're not working and our voices are, are kind of pushed out the way. And when we're talking about the big topics like reorganising social security, you want those voices at the forefront. They need to be the voices that are developing what we're doing. And, uh, I th- you know, I've seen people who have gone from, in a very short amount of time, from being quite quiet members to really powerful activists you know these are the people that I would want to see in positions of power you know positions of change and uh, I, I really do I think that this the things that we receive from the union in regards to training and empowerment will really carry over into people's lives that's amazing. And it's exactly, like I say, it's exactly what we need, isn't it? You know, there's a lot, it's, it's exactly what we sort of promote on Socialist Think Tank as well. Our whole idea is about community organising and empowering each other and supporting each other. It sounds like Unite you know, Community is just one big massive support network where people can go to get that and to get any help that they probably didn't even realise they needed. And I think especially with the welfare stuff, I mean, that it's, I, I think it's on purpose so complicated. So the fact that they offer that sort of training, that, that's huge. That's a really big deal, I think. Have you found, what, what have you found with the training? Have you had any favourite parts of it? Have you had any highlights? Uh, ooh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the myth that uh, universal credit would simplify the benefit system. And uh, it, sim- it simplifies something like six of the benefits out of nearly 30 types of support that you were re- receiving. So it's not really simplifying it, it's just, you know, reducing one very small segment of it. Uh, exposing that myth was, uh, that was interesting. I mean, you know, I'm at no authority on the benefit system. I've been, I've, I've been through it. Uh, I'm a, I currently receive uh, PIP. You know, I, I've seen and experienced a lot of the, the worst parts of our social security system. And uh, even I was shocked by some of the stuff I learned today, you know. That's really interesting that you say that because I think, I think it's really important for, you know, people 
like like I know you're not necessarily in a position within the United community, but you're obviously benefiting from from being part of it. And I think it's really important that um, people come on shows like this or, or just shout about the fact that these community groups are the people in them are people who are experiencing the services that are that are sort of tearing this country apart. And and that's one of the reasons behind wanting to get active in it. Um, you mentioned earlier about the uh, the universal credit stuff, and you've just been talking about it there. How far away are we, do you think, from from getting a resolution to that, to getting the twenty pound um, well reinstated effectively? Uh, well, MPs were meant to be uh, voting on it tonight. Uh, they've made it abundantly clear that they don't want to, and that uh, they want to offer protections via another method which I think is just, you know, code words for taking something away and blaming everybody else for it. You know, it's, uh, you know, we've got members who will face hardship if, if that 20 pounds is taken away. We all know how, you know, much more expensive it is to be stuck at home compared to, to having the freedoms of uh, getting about and being able to, to shop, you know, in cheaper places to, you know, we've had freezing cold days the last the last week. You know, that twenty pound is going to keep people from freezing to death. So I, I couldn't put a time frame on, you know, when we're going to achieve success. But I can say that we won't stop on, uh, until you know we, we've achieved what we want. Absolutely, and I hope I hope you get where we need to be I, I hope things keep going in the right direction and you're clearly acting sort of as a pressure group really you know putting a lot of pressure on the government to even have these discussions I think they'd like to just hide away and make these decisions without having to face any of us so so all power to you there I think that's amazing um one thing I would say you mentioned there about people stuck at home have you seen an increase in membership since the pandemic has started um, with people wanting to reach out and, and have a community. Yeah, I mean, uh, as always, kind of membership slow, isn't it? You don't really, you don't really see like a massive wave until you get really big political events taking hold. But we are growing, and uh, I think it's also important to that you know when we we get a new member, they aren't just uh, a name on a database that. You know, we we invest some time in getting to know them, and uh, you know, inviting them in. I, when you're like chairing a meeting, you know, you'll you'll see new faces, and it's always I think important to to ask them for their opinion because, you know, in that initial moment they're, they're maybe not brave enough or don't feel they have the right to to air their opinion, and uh, that's a big part of you know what I want from uh, my branch, you know, just to, to invest some kindness. Invest some kindness. Perfect. That's absolutely beautiful. And what an advert for you, Nike. Um, well, I think that's all I wanted to discuss with you tonight, Stuart. Um, and thank you so much for coming on. Um, let's give it one last plug. How do people get in touch with you and how do people join your Nike community? Uh, uh, go to Join Unite, uh, available on any search engine. Uh, fill, fill in the forms. It's literally £2.38 uh, a month to join Unite community. We'll quickly be in contact with you as a new member, or you can reach out to me. Uh, you could reach out to our branch, uh, or you could reach out to the, the regional organiser. You know, Brilliant. And we'll make sure to put all of those links in our comments box as we share this. Um, again, thanks so much, Stuart. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, as always. Um, I'm sure when, whenever this goes out, I'll see you on Tuesday for Political Unmuted again. Um, and before we go, just one last plug to say, please like, share and subscribe to all things Socialist Think Tank. You'll find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, we also have um, our very own shiny new website, so please find that as well. Thanks for joining us on The Social Ties, and we'll see you again soon. We keep the red flag flying here.